One day, there was intense fighting throughout the city. There were hundreds of casualties that were brought to this hospital. So we basically did a, a triage of the people that were being brought in. So we labeled them one, two, or three, put a little piece of tape on their, on their forehead. And one meant that uh, they should be treated right away. The two meant that they needed to be treated within 24 hours. And a three meant um, that even though they were alive, they were irretrievable. Um, and um, so we laid the threes somewhere over here. And people were made comfortable, you know, uh, blankets, water, morphine. Triage, there are moral implications, but it's a technical decision. You know, this, I don't have regrets about the decisions. I have complete outrage about the circumstances that created that situation where that kind of decision had to be made. I still have, and I always will, I think, a nearly uncontainable rage about what happened in Rwanda and Somalia and in many other parts of the world and about what's happening now in many parts of the world. To see mothers and fathers and children dying of indifference, dying of neglect, of abuse, of somebody's political calculation, that that doesn't matter. It fills me, first of all, with just profound sorrow that they have to live that and die it. And then it fills me with rage, frankly. Um, and the question then is, what do you do? What do you do with that? We are responsible for our lives and for our world. And if we don't engage that responsibility, no one else will, and we will live or die with the legacy of our failures.